Late at night, the young men went to the graveyard. They dug up the grave. Scarily, Ramadan did what the witch told him to do with his mother, and his friends watched quietly and secretly. My mother had been in the grave for two weeks, but her body still seemed fresh when I did this awful thing. I felt like some unknown powers were controlling me. After I finished, we buried her again. It was strange to me that my friends watched it all as if it was normal, and I wondered if some power was controlling them too. They even asked me to introduce them to the witch. I left the graveyard feeling scared and full of regret for what I had done. The next day, I went back to where the witch lived and saw a 15-year-old girl there. I asked her about the witch, but she said the woman I was looking for wasn't there. I didn't ask more questions, like how the girl was related to the witch. Instead, I just went back home. He began to see the consequences of his actions. Ever since he did what he did with his mother's body, he never felt peace. As time went on, he realized more and more that everything was a lie. He didn't have peace, so he decided to leave his village. He hoped this would help him escape his scary thoughts and find peace. He also realized that the wealth he wanted was a lie and that he had been tricked. I kept having awful experiences. I couldn't sleep well and had bad dreams. All this happened while my sister, who lived in the same house, knew nothing about it. So I decided to go to Dar es Salaam. It was hard because I traveled in a farm truck by myself, but I needed to do it to try and escape from the things that were scaring me. He thought going to the city would help him escape his past and the bad things he had experienced. But instead of making things better, moving to the city actually made his life even worse than before. When I first got to the city, I started working hard, but I didn't have a place to stay. Finding food was difficult, and sometimes I had to wash dishes for people in exchange for food. One day, while I was on the street, I noticed a woman walking and two men following her. They looked like they wanted to hurt her. When I realized they were trying to rob her, I helped her. She was very thankful and asked me to take her to her house. This woman was wealthy. She asked me about my life and I told her I had nowhere to live. She said she liked me and offered for me to stay with her in her house. My heart felt at ease because it seemed like I had found a new chance in life, but I still felt unsure inside. Ramadan started to live a better life in this house. He found everything he needed there. The woman gave him everything and took good care of him. But even with all these good things, the memories and consequences of what he had done in the past kept following him. They didn't go away and continued to affect him. During my time in that house, I didn't face any problems, but I always wondered about the woman who lived there. I knew very little about her, even though I had been staying there for days. As time went on, I couldn't shake off the haunting memories. I started seeing my mother's image at night, and I had disturbing dreams now and then. That's when I decided to confide in the woman and share my story. I showed her the small cloth the witch had given me, and she immediately told me that it would help me. But then, I began to hear a voice in my head, warning me that the woman I was living with was the same witch I had encountered before. This fear compelled me to leave her house. He had already sinned and he did not achieve what he was chasing after. Instead, it made his life more stressful. When he noticed this, he decided to take responsibility for his actions and make a change. He realized that if he didn't, things could get even worse. I began to really dislike my life and even thought about ending it. But instead, I made a big and unusual choice. I went to my sister and told her everything I had done. She was very sad and cried a lot, but she became a good support for me. She suggested that I start praying and become closer to God. So I started talking to people who prayed and got rid of the things the witch had given me. Since then, I have found peace, and I no longer hold any judgments in my heart. Choosing to pray made a big difference for him because it helped him when he had negative thoughts that could have made him consider ending his own life.